Okay, in today's uh, lesson in conduit bending at www.firealarmsonline.com, we're going to be covering the back-to-back -back 90. And uh, you should already know how to make the, the first 90 or stub. We did a video on that one already. If you haven't seen it, check out our site. Um, with that said, we already have uh, 190 bent, and we're going to be going from, this would represent a wall, maybe across the ceiling if you're looking at it upside down, and down another wall if you had uh, two devices maybe mounted like this and you had to do the U-shaped bend. So we call it a back-to-back -back 90. Um, like I said, we've already got um, 190 here. As you can see, it lines up here, but we're going to want to make another 90 uh, in one solid conduit up this box right here. So what you're going to want to do is take your measurement between the two points. We are at 36 inches. With that said, from your first 90 that you have made, you're going to want to make another mark at 36 inches on that conduit. And then the same thing that we did with the first stub, we're going to want to use the arrow uh, mark on the bender. And that represents the back of a 90, so as you know, back to back 90s. Pull this up. Line it up with the star. And make sure your 90 here is straight. Usually I usually like to look at it just to make sure everything's lined up perfectly straight. And then bend your new 90 up towards the other 90. And when you're all done, you should have the U-shaped back-to-back 90s that will fit perfectly between the uh, two walls that we had set up here. So for more uh, videos and additional information, check out firealarmsonline.com.